Crispy Coil. You are now in tuned with the YouTube channel. Jake. Yo, Jake. Yo. Yo, we are back, people. All right, we got a couple up. Yo, this video is monumental. Turn that down a little bit. All right, what we got on TV? Oh, is that Futura? Yo, yo, peep his bucket right there. Yo, man, I used to rock a L bucket. Yo, peep that dude right there. Ew! With the Technicolor boogie. <laughs> yo, that dude is serious. Anyway, dude. Yeah, dude, I got, uh, I got Just For Kicks on. I watch it like three times a week. Psych. Anyway, uh, yeah, dude, I got, I got some New Balance, New Balance classes in session, dude. The Honorable Crispy Coil presiding. Anyway, dude, we got the, uh, we got the clock going, dude. You know what I'm saying? I ran like a cheetah with thoughts of an assassin. All right, dude, real quick. Fittits. I'm a huge Fittit fan, you know what I mean? I don't really do snapbacks. Considering I'm like, uh, I'm like 85 years old, you know what I'm saying? I used to rock snapbacks when I was a young bull, but not anymore. Right here, uh, you got the, uh, I believe it's a Grand Rapids Colonels. Um, yeah, dude. Look, it's like a baseball bat, chilling, all looking like a piece of corn and what have you and whatnot. Anyway, dude, I love this hat. Navy upper. We have the navy upper with the, um, Kelly green brim. Seven and five eighths. That'll be getting ripped off. $34.99. You got the official stamp right there with the uh, logo. And then my favorite fitted ever. Yes, ever. Chicago Cubs 1914. Um, I believe this is called the, the like I was born to do it uh, bear symbol. Because this bear, he's thinking to himself right now, like, dude, I'm about to mangle this baseball like I was born to do it. Like, it's my job, because it is my job. Anyway, dude, this bear would probably mangle any other animal in the wildlife kingdom. And you have that that uh, rip, plain old Joan on the back. Unders, gray, too. Got the uh, the stamp right there, but this is a Cooperstown joint. Love this hat. I buy it every time I see it. I got, like, three of them now. This is a brand new one now. I got to uh, waterproof these joints to take the stickers off, and then they will be in rotation. Or should I say rotation? All right. Uh, I'm going to get into the 997 in a second here. I got a couple other pickups that were straight up come ups. Oh my God, dude. I was on uh, one of them there uh, at websites. Me and Jake were on there. Yo, Jake. Jake is just like, dude, he's into that right now. Jake, you want to you wanna tell people what you got on Paw today? Yeah, YouTube. Today I decided to go with them um, Janoskis. They call them Janosk puppies. I got the Janosk puppies on deck. You know what I'm saying? I got the uh, the fur upper titanium paw, titanium claw. Oh shit, yo, yo, what's the mids? What's the outsole? The outsole's my paw. All right, dude, nice one, fam. Nice one, fam. Yo, you got that Ralph Lauren coat on? Yeah, I got the coat. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, fur power, no doubt. All right, Jake, I'll leave you alone, fam. I got to get into this anyway. Nine nine eight JL three Midori Gray. If you guys knew the price that these came out to, it it is ridiculous. Forty three dollars and twenty cents. I cannot believe it. Um, I I honestly a uh, hundred and sixty dollar shoe. J Crew nine nine eight Midori Gray with that ill green color. Just incredible, dude. Of course, I put the uh, the laces in. 998, uh, made in USA. Just a really nice looking shoe, man. Can't complain, but for 50 bucks, dude, $50 shipped. Absorb midsole, outsole, I should say. Yeah, midsole, what am I saying? But, uh, you know what I mean? It's got the dual density. Really, really nice pair of kicks, guys. I just wanted to throw them in there. Shout out to Rope Lace Supply for uh, always supplying the ropes. You know what I'm saying? But if you get taken down to the bookings, you might have to take them out. Because you might, you know, you might want to hang it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you might just want to uh, hit the reset button. You know what I'm saying? Take yourself out of the game. But, um, you know, let's just see where we're at right here. Because I don't want to, um, yeah, do 10 minutes left, dude. People, we got all day. You know what I mean? Jake's got to get this work. <laughs> um, 576BET. Billy Edgar. Okay, we got the rooster right here. Uh... Like I told you guys a million times before, the boy Billy Riley, William Riley, back in 1906, started the company. And how he started it was, he was puffing a Dutch 
uh, with his homie. They were out on a stoop. And they were looking at a bunch of chickens crossing the road. And they were like, yo. They were like, yo, why'd the chicken cross the road? And he was like, yo. Because that chicken's got ill balance, fam. Actually, that chicken's got new balance. And he was like, whoa, yo, that could be our company. He was like, yo, I heard that. Next thing you know, they made arches in the shape of a chicken's claw. Like the two prongs in the front and the one prong in the back. And now, that turned into a, a whole big brand. And, and uh, you know, the kicks that we love and all this other stuff. The thief steam, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the boxes, they open up on the other side. I always point that out because I think it's kind of odd. All right, all buttery leather, the Billy Edgar 576 with that crazy lining. You have what the old factory used to look like there in Flimby. Union Jack on the heel. I mean, this leather is like your grandfather's World War II bomber jacket leather. It's, it's just insane. It smells like an old shoe store, and I'll get into that in a second, too. Got it on the tongue, 30 years of manufacturing in the UK, 1982 to 2012. They got the 1982 Dubray, you know what I'm saying? You got the black laces too, and right here it says Billy Edgar. This shoe has been designed in tribute to cutting room craftsman Billy, employee of 22 years and a valued member of the factory workforce. I think that is crazy that they just like hooked up their people like that. You know what I mean? But that's what these shoes were made for. I got these for I think 80 bucks shipped. Retail was like 160, 170, something like that, but really high quality shoe. All right. How much time do I have to talk about this 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 just amazing piece of art? Eight minutes. Let's get it. All right. Big shout out to DJ Mars. What up, Mars? He gave me this uh all right, Sneaker Freaker uh, in Australia made this little book to pay tribute to New Balance. You couldn't buy it, you had to you had to be given it. It's a friends and family booklet. Um I never seen another one actually, but uh they asked people like DJ Mars was one of the people they interviewed, and they asked, like, all these, like, uh, these YouTube dudes, like, what if, what would you retro if you could? And I was surprised at some of these answers. The night, uh, which model would you like to see retro and why? The 997 dude says, no time needed to consider anything else. I've been saying it for years. You retro this model properly, and it will sell. Uh, they proved it with the 1300 JP, which I will pay any amount of money for. The 1500's been chunked up and lost that high-tech space shuttle appeal. Now it seems USA Made is the way to go if you want to keep a shoe authentic. Give us a 997, gray suede like the original, made in the USA by the Super Team 33. Keep the shape sharp. Put it in a throwback box, charge an exorbitant amount of money, put it out. I'll take two. Thanks. All right. Now this book came out a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying? So... Fast forward to today, and what does New Balance do? They heed advice of their customer base, and they put out the exact shoe Homeboy was talking about, the 997. Back when I was a young Husky Bull rocking Lee Dungarees and, uh, you know, Carhartt, and uh, you might see me in a pair of Voights or McGregor's with, uh, with the Ill Kangle. I was trying to be Biggie, Kurt Cobain, uh, you know, the old heads that drink 40s, and fucking... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Rogers all in one. I, I was an ill little young bull. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I got love from the old heads, you know what I mean? Because I had a little style with it. You know what I mean? I like to, I freak the shitty outfit a certain kind of way. And I was just talking about that. You don't have to have the, the, the real expensive shit to look fly. If you got style, you can make anything fresh. Like, and uh, back in the day, I wanted the, uh, I believe they were the Jordan 8s. I wanted the white colorway, the Bugs Bunny 8s back in the day. I wanted these Jones bad. The, the, the ill commercials that they were coming out with, the Marvin the Martian commercials and everything, and Jordan was just slaughtering competition, and I wanted those shoes bad, man. So much so, I think I took a knife to the shoes that I had at the time. You remember you, you did that back in the day? Because you only got shoes when your other shoes were OD, when they were just done for. So I think I might have sabotaged my own footwork, which is crazy when you think about it, but that, you know what I mean? It, it was serious back in the day. We went to the shoe store, and they had them, and as soon as I, yeah, I was living with my grandparents at the time down in Mayfair, and as soon as they saw the price tag, they were like, roll, nut. <laughs> they, were, they were like, kick rocks all the way home, this ain't pop. And I was like, what? They were like, your birthday's coming up, we'll see, what's, we'll see what it's hitting for. So I wait the whole time, walking around with these, uh, with these bumbled up, <laughs> you know, pieces of garbage and whatever they were at the time, but they weren't nothing like Jordans, I'm telling you that. And um, so June 23rd comes around, and I think this song was probably playing in the background, you know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? It was like, Crispy Coil, y'all. Jake Blue's in your area. About to cause mass hysteria. So they go out to get the shoes, I think. You know what I'm saying? Then I start to front. Matter of fact, I be on a manhunt. You couldn't catch me in the streets without a ton of reefer. All right. I had to get that out real quick. You know what I'm saying? I had to give Nas his proper daps. But um, they come home with this box. Not th Of course, not this box, but the shoe inside is the exact same. And I mean, I, I might have been dead because I was a Nike head. You know what I mean? And uh, when I saw this New Balance box, I was kind of befuddled. And they came in and they were like, oh, we got the most nicest shoe ever. You know, you're going to love these. The guy at the shoe store said that these had the most support. Now, I don't know if any of you were raised with your grandparents, but when your grandparents go to the shoe store with you when you're a young buck, they say, which one has the most support? Now, of course, you don't care about support. All you care about is what the shoe looks like and how and how many, you know, how much props you can get on the, on the, the uh, you know, the four square game outside, you know, at recess. Like, you know, you don't want to be playing dodgeball with some busted hands void to McGregor's. And I thought I was just going to get the joints I really wanted. I opened the box. And I pull out the 997 in the OG colorway. Now, they didn't go to Foot Locker like where we were before. or I think no, it was the Jock Shop on Frankfurt Ave. Shout out to Frankfurt Ave. Shout out to the Jock Shop. Those people that probably own that, they probably own Shoe Plus now. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how those people do. You know. Anyway, I was like, I was crushed. You know what I mean? At the time, I was like, dude, I went from the, the Jordan 8s to this. And I was crushed. I didn't understand. I, I wasn't into New Balance like that at the time. I mean, I had them because I couldn't afford the other sneakers. But anyway, these lasted me like forever. Like I tried to beat them up and, and I just couldn't. And they were comfortable. And I ended up liking them um, a lot. And I ended up uh, throwing them out. And I think I got a, uh, the next pair of shoes I got, just to show you how long I had these. I think the next shoes I got were the 10s. I finally got my Jordans because they saw how disappointed I was when I got these chumpies. But I got a paper route, I think, to help pay for it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But the shoe store that they got these from was a place called, oh, Flannery's. Uh, it was on Cotman and Castor. Uh, for, oh, man, Floors? Not Floors. That's a funeral home. But anyway, um, it'll come to me. And, uh, yo, this was one of those shoe stores, right, where you could get, like, your, your school uniform if you went to Catholic school and they had the husky pants, you know, because it's what I had to rock. Basically, that's a men's size waist with a young boy's size length. They call that husky. <laughs> For all you skinny kids that don't know what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, but they had, like, some some nice pieces, like some car art. But, yo, they all smelled exactly like this shoe. If you own this shoe, smell it, and that's what the shoe store smelled like. Like, smell this. Yeah, like that. Yo, oh, my God. And they all had those ill mirrors on the floor that you could come up to, and it was at such an angle where you could see your foot. You know what I'm saying? Like, perfectly. And they had those those metal joints that you put on the floor and you could like see how big your foot was. You know what I'm saying? Those chumpies. Um, yeah, they had all that. You know what I mean? It was one of those old school mom and pop footwear joints. And they definitely did not have the Jordans. So I got these. And uh, when I saw that these were retro and the only difference is this midsole used to be an off white. The, the print right here was a different color. Um, but they, they really hit it close. Um, you see the little NB hit right there. It's so crazy. So sick. Um, they retooled the whole bottom and made it look exactly the same. Like, look at the pebbles on this leather. I know these were $200. This material on the inside, you hardly ever see this on a shoe. It's not quite a cloth, not quite a leather. It's like a rubberized leather. 3M hits all crazy. Like, um, 3M, you got it right here on the end. I mean, it's all official. And it's made by the top 29 employees at the factory in the USA. They really went all out with this. I want to thank New Balance for making my childhood memories come back. And, uh, you know what I mean? My grandparents, they did their best. Uh, my parents rolled out and the, and the grandparents picked it up. I want to send shout out all the people that watch my videos, man. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to knock a lot more out. And um, I want to thank everybody for, for, you know, sticking with the kid. Like, uh, I'm going through a lot right now with family and stuff like that. And I'm um, trying to hold, the hip, hold my head, you know what I mean? And um, I appreciate uh, all the support. And, and I know I've tried to sell a couple SBs. A couple people bought them on Instagram. Sorry if I'm clogging up the feed, like I'm um, trying to do whatever I can to keep, uh, you know, keep my family going, you know what I'm saying? But um, big thanks, you know, sorry to get all like crazy real at the end of my video, but uh, you know, life goes on, whatever. Two fingers, Philadelphia. Jake, you ready to say goodbye? Yo, Jake, say goodbye to YouTube. Ah, oh, YouTube, I holla.